It's seven past one. It's Friday afternoon. It's time for cooking with Kim. Hello, hello. Today we are going to make iced coconut fairy cake. So if we start off by turning the oven on, and the oven is on 190 degrees centigrade, or gas mark five. So turn your ovens on. Right, for those of you that I was explaining to earlier, I've, I've popped my paper cases into a tray to give them a bit of firm, firmness. And there's 12, so it literally holds 12 and that's how many we're meant to be making. So I'm gonna put that aside because we don't need that yet. I've got my bowl and I've got my scales. And the first thing we're going to measure is four ounces of caster sugar. So four ounces of caster sugar. Weigh it in your scales. And then pop it into the bowl that you're going to be either beating by hand or using an electric mixer. So that's four ounces of caster sugar. And to that, we're going to add four ounces of butter or margarine or the, um, the vegan butter that Kerry uses, the substitute. So four ounces of butter, margarine, and then pop it into the same bowl as your sugar. So what was the step after the sugar came? Was it was it the flour? It, it's the butter. Four ounces of sugar, four ounces of butter. Bye. Together in the bowl. And then you're going to start mixing it together, beating it. Or I'm just going to go over and use my Kenwood Chef for a minute, so. Okay. Uh-huh. What's after the, so, no, what's no, that, how no. much butter? Four ounces. Good. Four ounces. A basic sponge mixture is four, four, four. Well, so does it four, go with the flour? Sugar, does it go with the flour? No, don't do the flour yet. Just the sugar and the butter. And then, Have you put the flour in? Mm -hmm. We put the flour in, Kim. No, I didn't say flour. Kim didn't say flour. Um, have you got an electric mixer, Will? No. Dad. What happened? Go, 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 go. What are you going to do? Uh, yeah, hey. one. Mm. Yeah. So what goes on with the butter? Will? No. Yeah? Have you got butter, sugar and flour all together? Yeah. We, we got the butter in, we got the flour and the sugar. Okay, what I would do if I was you is add your egg, beaten eggs. So two beaten eggs. This is just Will, not everybody else. Oh and you're adding a bit of wet to your mixture and then carefully oh start trying to beat it together. Usually most of the time it's always full. Two eggs in. Two eggs, Kev. You said two eggs with the flour in it. And yeah. Mix it. I mix it. Two 
done that, Kim. Okay, you'll get there in the end. Um, right, everybody else, we are going to weigh four ounces of self raising flour. I use a wooden spoon. Four ounces of self raising flour. Please. I've mixed my butter and sugar together and tipped it all over the worktop. I am not going to say this is an easy recipe, okay? Because you know what happens when I say it's an easy recipe. <laughs> it goes wrong. So we should all have four ounces of self-raising flour. Now, right to it. <laughs> and give them a beat. To the beat. To the beat. To the beat. It's getting a bit tough. Now, are you with me? We're going to be putting two handfuls. Now, I've got quite a little hand. My wrist is getting a bit tough, Kim. Say that again, Will. My, my mix is getting a bit tough. Is it a bit tough? Keep going. Bit of elbow grease. <laughs> bit of elbow grease. To the flour, I'm going to add two handfuls of coconut. I've got my coconut here. My recipe didn't give me a measurement. It just said two handfuls. So there's one handful going into to my flour. That looks okay. What? Into my flour. How do I get it off the wooden spoon? Then? And I'm going to also put a teaspoon of vanilla. So where's that going? You don't have to put vanilla, but if you've got it, drop a teaspoon of vanilla. I'm putting that into three instant mushrooms and sugar. On top of my sugar and butter. And I'm going to put my whipped eggs on top of that. Get it all out. <laughs> now I'm going to go back to the mixing beat uh, Kenwood Chef and I'm going to mix it all together. And hopefully at the end, I've got something that resembles a sponge mixture. And I've got that. I'm just going to turn the camera around so you can see me. That noise for a minute. Whoa. Is that look okay? What was that, Will? I'm just asking. Um, is, is that look okay? Okay. Yeah. Doing the mix, seen at the moment. What goes with the butter? What? What? What goes with the butter? What goes with the butter, Kim? What goes with the butter? What goes with the butter? Yeah. Oh dear, Will. You Do should... we have to put the butter in it? Yeah. Put the butter in it. In the flour. In the flour. Well, the butter is meant to be with the sugar. 
and then you're meant to have mixed the butter and sugar together and then you're meant to add the flour, coconut and vanilla and the eggs. And then you end up with a mixture which looks a little bit lumpy, but that's actually the coconut. So I'm just giving mine another mix. So they're all mixed together then. One bowl of them. I'm ready to sugar in there already. Right, hopefully you've got all your mixture mixed up. So that is mixing mine now, okay. That's lovely. So I'm going to bring back the cake cases here. And I'm going to have two teaspoons ready. One for the jam and one for the sponge. What's that? Keep mixing. And I'm going to put a teaspoon of sponge in the bottom of each paper case. Boom. Boom. And that's going in quite nicely. I'm not filling it because I'm going to next, I'm going to put some jam on top. But you can, if you don't want jam, just fill it with the sponge, okay? So we put jam in it? Yeah. You can even put some jam on the top of the sponge. Uh, 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 if you don't want to put this in. Yeah. Kim, how many is it supposed to make, Kim? It said 12, but um, sometimes you make more than what you it says. It sometimes paper cases are you want to go to the shop and get so other paper cases are bigger than others. Um I think I've I've got quite small paper cases. Uh, I want it jam. Don't worry about jam if you haven't got any will. Because I didn't put jam on the recipe. I've added it I've added it on. Right. I've added it on after. So I've half filled my paper cases. I'm now going to put in mine a little blob of jam on top. Listen to what she's saying. I'm probably going to put half a teaspoon. I haven't got jam. Okay, just carry on with your mixture then. Because okay. <laughs> I just woke up this morning and saw, oh, I fancy some jam in there. I'm putting very little jam because the jam oozing out everywhere. No. but take your time. So that would be on the shopping list, really. Yeah, it wasn't on the list, was it? Will? It wasn't on the list, Will, it sorry. Itself. We can get stuff in, we can get things that are not on the list, can we? What you could do, I mean, maybe a little bit of honey. I don't know if you've got a little bit of honey. Or we are. A little bit, maybe you could put a raspberry there or a blueberry. It sometimes it depends what you've got in your fridge. Oh, yeah, Can you put add syrup to it, Kim? Uh, yeah, that sounds good. I would put just a no. little bit of syrup. In yeah, it's a bit of syrup. Yeah, go for it. Yeah. Yours will be like a treat. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, that one. That one. Yeah. Once I've done the jam, I'm going back to the sponge again, and I'm putting the sponge. On. Do you put a little bit of syrup in in it, Kim? No, you put it in no. there. Then you put it. Put a little bit of sponge in the bottom, then a little bit of syrup, and then some sponge on the top. What did you say? A bit was. A little but bit. Of... What is she doing now? Putting oh. this. Then this bit of syrup. Oh, then there you go. Then why do you want to put syrup in there first? Then use a spoon. She's using a spoon. Oh, where's the spoon? That's why I gave you a spoon. These don't take long to cook. Only 10 to uh, 12 to 15 minutes. So while they're cooking, in a minute, we're going to make the glacé icing, if you want to. Yeah. Now I've got a feeling I'm going to make more than 12. It's very hard to judge, so I'm going to just use a few more paper cases. Oh, he's in the shower. No, Dennis is in the shower. Hmm? No, these are plain ones. Mm. I don't like the one with jam. I prefer the. When you put the sponge yeah, mix into the tin, get it on the spoon and then just use your finger and just ease it off into the paper cake. Or you can use all the spin to get it off with. That's very good, Will. Yep, yeah, that is a definitely a less messy one. You know me, I put my uh -oh. fingers in it. Right, I put twelve. So you you can't see the jam hardly because I've hidden it with the top. Put, put it on the side and put it in there, please. Yeah, I'm trying to. Because you're making a mess now. Can you help me? Because I'm, I'm making a mess. You can put the syrup in when I'm done. Yeah, that, that, that's a good idea because I'll make a mess to see. I think I'm going to get probably one more out of it. So I'm going to end up with 13, which isn't bad, is it? What we're going to do about these bits? In well, I've just licked my finger. It's gorgeous. Mm. What, Kim? It tastes lovely. Mm. I've just what? tasted the mixture in the bowl. Right. Take it back in. Mm -hmm. Now, if your oven is hot enough, you can pop your cakes in for 12 to 15 minutes, keeping an eye on them through the glass. No, a rising oven, Kim. They need to rise and be golden brown. So I'm popping mine in now. You there, Mike? Could you set me 12 minutes? I'm just going to wipe the area where I've been working. Not too much work. Like that. Just a little bit. And again. That's enough. Next one. Now, Mike has set, set my... Um, the alarm on my oven, so I know roughly oh, yeah. when 12 minutes is up. <laughs> Next thing we need is a nice clean bowl. I'm going to put icing sugar, just plain dry icing sugar. 
Can we make noise in soccer? You don't have to do this bit, Will. You can eat yours with custard. Is that okay? You can sieve your ice and sugar. Sometimes you get lumps in your ice and sugar, but mine look pretty good. So luckily, I can get away with it. I'm just going to open another box because that's not quite enough. Now, there's no measurement for this. I'm literally just icing sugar in the bowl. Was well, it busy in the gym, Benny, or not? Now, this is where you've got to be careful. I've got some water here, and I'm just going to add it very, very slowly. And I mean slowly. I'm going to put literally drops. And gently stir it in. I bet you, I bet you sweat when you um, finish the gym. Yeah, I do not want runny glass my ice in. <laughs> I've had that happen so many times. So I. Some more of this. No, that's fine. No, no. For those that's of you that don't have ice thin, you can always, when the cakes are cooked, you can always just um, like do a smear of jam on top of your sponge and some coconut. So you've got like double coconut and double jam. So there's a few ways you can play around with it. What do you mind in your oven now, Kim? Lovely. Now, my sugar, my sugar is like that. It's actually very firm. It's a little bit too stiff. I might know it's so good. Carefully just add a little bit more. That's what she said. Yeah. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter Then I'm going to put a damp, uh, uh. damp seat towel. 
on top of my oh, it's so sticking them in opening. Stop it setting. Well, how many times do I have to tell you to put it in the oven? Oh, I'll do it. So here's my tea towel. Mine's in the oven, Kim. Lovely. Now, if you ever work with icing sugar, you always need a damp tea towel. Now, this I've wet it, and I've really screwed all the water out, and I'm going to put this damp tea towel across the top of my bowl. All right? It's not touching the icing, and it just keeps it, it stops it from setting, because icing sets quite quickly and we'll end up with just a load of rock hard icing. So the damp tea towel over the crust of your top of your bowl. And that's Mommy Mom with Costa tonight, Kim. Lovely. I hope you enjoy it. Try and take a photo and put it on Arts and Crafts Friday because we'd love to see what they look like. Can see what they look like after they cook, Kim. Yeah. So at the moment, I'm just tidying up the work surface. I'll put them in the oven, Kim. That's really good. I've now got a nice pink um, dish cloth. Look at that. Oh. <laughs> Am I not the messiest cook you've ever seen? <laughs> <laughs> and now I'm not going to open the oven door, but I'm just going to look at them through the glass. Okay, they're rising nicely. Um, so I'm going to just talk, hopefully, until the cakes are cooked. So I've kept my coconut out because when the cakes are cool, so when they're ready, we're going to get them out the oven. We're going to put them on our cooling rack, which we use every week, don't we, a cooling rack? Very, these come in very handy. It cool allows down. to get all around the cake to help cool quicker. Unless you want to eat it hot, of course. But in this case, we want cool cake. I've got my coconut ready because when I, when the cakes are cool, I'm going to put the icing on top of the cake and then. Oh, sprinkle it. Pardon? Sprinkle, the, sprinkle that on top of the cakes. Yes, I'm going to sprinkle it on top of the icing. So it sticks to the icing. And I think it might give So a, I do the same when mine comes out. So I can sprinkle mine on top. Yeah, you can sprinkle yours on top. Um, if it, Like I say, you can also use jam instead of uh, icing sugar. So I say icing and sprinkle your coconut on top of the jam and it will stick to the jam as well. So there's a couple of different ways you can do it. Can you if, still have custard with it if you put if you put that on? If you're gonna eat with custard, I think it's best not to do the icing sugar and just put the jam and coconut. But you haven't got any jam, have you? So maybe just I'll put I'll put I'll put go I've got put, put syrup in it. Yeah. You might, Will, be able to, to put a little bit of syrup on the top of each cake and just gently, with your knife, just gently, gently put the syrup, you know, smudge it over the top and then sprinkle your coconut on top of the syrup and it will stick to the syrup. I'd like to see yours when they're done because you're you're doing it a little bit different to everyone else, and there's no reason why yours don't come out lovely as well. 
coconut and syrup tastes very nice. Uh, sounds very nice. So we're just waiting for the cake to cook. I'm just tidying up a little bit. Do you have to, do you have to stop it to check, check if they're cooked inside? Um, the cake should rise and it should be golden brown. And if you gently touch the top of it, it should bounce. So if you, what you mean? Bounce. touch the top of it yeah. and gently put your finger on it, when you lift your finger away, the cake should come spring up again. Yeah. That's one way of testing if it's done. Another way is you could put a sharp knife in the middle or a skewer and just pop that in the middle and see if it comes out clean. Yeah, I'll do it that way, Kim. That's, that's very good. Um, sometimes you can just tell that they're ready. I bet some of our experienced cooks um, can just tell when they're ready. Like Daniel's mum, very experienced lady what what way are you going to do you go to stick a knife in it um you got to stick something in it to say if it's cooked i might use the finger method and just touch the top this is the longest 12 to 15 minutes pardon When it only takes a little while to um, to cook the cake, it's different if we're leaving it in there for half an hour. We would have um, moved on to the next um, moved on to June, but being this is such a quick, but I am going to check them. Oh, mine are rising beautifully. Now that, I don't know if you heard, was my bell. But being my cooker's a little bit um, unreliable, to say the least, because I'm using a top oven still. Um, but anyway, that was, that was 12 minutes. No. I've just quickly checked mine and they're not definitely not ready. Has anybody else thought of any other ways that we could have done this cake? Any other toppings? I suppose we could have sprinkled um, hundreds and thousands on the top of the icing. Um, I'm sticking to the coconut. Because Probably chocolate. Chocolate, that is a good one. We, yeah, we could have melted chocolate and put that on top. Mm -hmm. That sounds lovely. <laughs> Maybe we could that give me an idea. We could do chocolate chip fairy cake with chocolate on the top of the sponge. That'd be gorgeous. With something nice. Yeah. That'd be nice. Yeah. Well, they're all it things really you can have a go at cooking. If you ever have, like, you know, it, it might be your mum's birthday or or your yeah. wife's birthday or a special occasion. Yeah. You want to do some nice cakes that you've made specially. Yeah. That, you know, you've specially cooked for that person. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And they're not God. too hard, but they look nice. Just doing these... Um... These tree things, I found them in my uh, thing. Hi, Kerry. See, do some tree stuff today. Just painting some trees. <laughs> <laughs> Natalie. Hi, Natalie. Hi. How are you, Natalie? Fine. 
just painting some trees. Lovely. I don't know, again, if anyone would like to try cooking sausage rolls. Is there any, any interest in cooking sausage rolls? Yeah. Now, if my mum was here, I would have done it, but my mum usually goes to work, so probably not. <laughs> well, once again, we can try the pastry and get really good at rolling the pastry out, and then we'll buy the sausage meat. And um, if you're vegetarian or vegan, there might be something else. I'm sure there'll be something else that we could put in the middle. And then shape them and cut them and make them look nice and bake them and you've got homemade sausage rolls. Yeah, you can always use cheese and integrated cheese instead of sausage for the vegan and, and vegetarian ones. Yeah, yeah, I'd have to Google that. Um, Do you use the special, the special um, vegetarian cheese, can't you? Mm -hmm. Can you use the special vegetarian cheese? Yes. That my mom usually my mom usually has that. Yeah. So, yep. Yeah. Yep. Usually because um because my mom my mom's um, vegetarian. <laughs> so you see nearly everything uh, we nearly have if we're doing like sausage jars, my mom doesn't actually eat them because of course she's vegetarian, so she doesn't eat them. Exactly. But, yes. Oh, you can't blame people, but a lot of people actually no. know make homemade sausage rolls because it's so easy i made homemade sausage rolls i make homemade sausage rolls when my friends come over or yeah. if there's a special occasion or if there's you know different things happening because i've actually got um i'm sure you don't know but um i've actually got a um, website on um, instagram called um dining yeah. dining with nat so I usually put um, my recipes on there. Probably one of probably one of the recipes that I do. It'd be really good for you know me to do it um, to do it for you guys. But of course, because my mum's at work, can't really do it. Yeah. But if I had the opportunity to do it, then I definitely would. I would show you one of my recipes that I do um, occasion on a day to day basis. So. And you've got recordings <laughs> of this, Natalie. Ah. Are they recorded? No, they're not recorded. No, no, no. They, um, I do. Um, I take pictures um, oh. on my phone and then I put them onto um, Instagram. Yeah, because so I put like, them onto Instagram. We had uh, Carl do an apple pie a couple of weeks ago, and Mike's done a couple of um, biscuits with you. Yes. He, he quite likes the sound of doing a cheesecake with you next time. <laughs> the cheesecake is one of my favourites. No. I love cheesecake. Kim? Yes. Yeah? Kim, Kerry's trying to speak. Okay, I can't see anyone. Yes, Kerry? Yes, um, can we have a go at the muffins, Kim? Muff like lemon muffins or something, lemon or blueberry. Yeah, blueberry muffins sound good. Um, I'd like to try that, Kerry, because actually when I've had them in shops, I've never been too keen on them. So I'd really like to try and make homemade ones and see if it makes me like them any better. Yeah. So, should we do them next week, muffins? Yeah. Yeah. And... Um, you can do different flavoured muffins. Like Kerry said, there's lemon muffins, there's blueberry muffins, chocolate, chocolate chip, probably. White, white, white chocolate. Yeah, white chocolate. So you can always look your own recipe up if you want, or I'll still put a recipe on. Right, my cakes are ready now. Right. I'm pretty damn good they look too. There they are. So I am going to let them cool now. And then we'll go back to icing them afterwards, if that's all right with everyone. So let them cool for 10 minutes in, in the tin, if you put them in the tin. And then um, that will keep their shape nice. 
And then when they're a bit cool, we just pop them out like that. But I'm going to keep them in there just a little bit longer. So they're still a bit hot. Yeah, they're very hot, but we'll ice them afterwards. So if we can hand over to June now, that would be wonderful. Okay. Hi, June. What's up? Hi, Ariel. I'm going to suck 